Six former Metropolitan Police officers have been charged with sending racist messages on WhatsApp after a BBC Newsnight investigation. The officers served in various parts of the force, but all spent time in the Diplomatic Protection Group, now known as the Parliamentary and Diplomatic Protection Command. They were not serving during their alleged participation in the group, but the BBC believes serving officers were in the group until early 2022. A statement from the Met said, the charges follow an investigation by the Met's Directorate of Professional Standards, which was launched following coverage by the BBC's Newsnight program in October last year. It said the officers, who retired between 2001 and 2015, have been charged by post with offenses under Section 127-1A of the Communications Act 2003. They will appear at Westminster Magistrates Court on the 7th of September. The ex-officers charged heir Peter Booth, 66, of Landalo, Carmarthenshire, charged with four counts of sending by public communication grossly offensive racist messages. Robert Lewis, 62, of Camberley, Surrey, charged with eight counts of sending by public communication grossly offensive racist messages. Anthony Elsom, 67, of Bournemouth, Dorset, charged with three counts of sending by public communication grossly offensive racist messages. Alan Hall, 65, of Stowe Market, Suffolk, charged with three counts of sending by public communication grossly offensive racist messages. Michael Chadwell, 62, of Liss, Hampshire, charged with one count of sending by public communication grossly offensive racist messages. Trevor Luton, 65, of Swansea, charged with one count of sending by public communication grossly offensive racist messages. Last year, Newsnight was passed dozens of messages shared within the chat by a member of the group. The BBC has not reproduced the messages because some of them contain strong racial slurs. Some of the posts referenced the government's Rwanda policy, while others joked about recent flooding in Pakistan, which left almost 1,700 people dead. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex also featured in several images alongside racist language. Commander James Harmon, who leads the Met's Anti-Corruption and Abuse Command, said, As soon as we were made aware of these allegations, we acted to launch an investigation. I am pleased that following the determined work of officers, we have been able to secure these charges. The honest majority of Met officers are fully behind this work. They are tired of being let down by a minority in policing and they are aware of the damage poor behavior can do to our relationship with the communities we serve. I recognize announcements about the outcome of our investigations may have the potential to cause further public concern, but I hope it demonstrates our absolute commitment to investigate any corrupt and abusive behavior from the Met.